Tire pressure is extremely important for a lot of different reasons. It's your sidewall stability in your vehicle, uh, as well with temperature, and uh, the, uh, the tread won't conform to the, to the road surface without the proper pressure. The different tires will have a maximum cold pressure as well. So most uh, manufacturers, they'll have a stamp on either the fuel door or on the side of the, the door pillar that'll tell the PSI for the tires. You can pick yourself up a, a digital pressure gauge along with a uh, tread depth gauge. Those are, should be two items that you always carry with you. The depth will be measured with a tool that uh, it's a probe and it goes onto the, into the tread depth itself. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll push down into the tread and then it'll take a measurement on the side and it'll be 30 seconds of an inch. Uh, and then uh, there's a recommendation on that tire what the minimum recommendation is for that tire. If a battery in the summertime is starting to get a little weak, you may not notice it. And what happens is when the colder weather has come, and if you do have a battery that's starting to fail, whether you get a cell that's starting to die, that cold cranking amp availability for that is increasingly affected by the cold weather. We do a load test on that battery, and it's a cold cranking amp load test. So every battery is rated depending on its size, how many cold cranking amps it has. And we'll do that test and simulate, and then we can tell you at that point whether that battery is weak and needs to be replaced. We recommend that you run a winter wiper blade in the winter time and a summer in the summertime for sure. So you're looking at, you know, are they streaking? Are they, are they, you know, are they properly clearing your windshield, of course? Are they sticking onto the windshield? Those kind of things. Maybe when you are brushing your vehicle off, check that leading edge to make sure that it's not starting to peel. The biggest difference between a winter blade and a summer blade is the hinging that holds the blade to the windshield and the winter side will be covered or it won't have hinges at all. It'll just be a continuous blade. Uh, what happens if you use a summer blade in the winter time, those hinges, they get packed with snow and ice and they freeze and they won't properly hit the window. Well, the coolant is there to maintain a, a certain engine temperature, all right, along with supplying the hot coolant to the heater core for the heater inside the vehicle. Uh, so it's, uh, it's definitely something that should be checked you know, at least twice a year. We're going to check the strength of it, make sure that it's, you know, it's not going to freeze up in the winter time, so it's good for at least minus 35 degrees. We're going to check the acid level in it, make sure it doesn't need to be replaced. Um, all these different components, so it is a, it's a very uh, important thing that unfortunately sometimes is overlooked and ends up causing a lot of grief down the road.